Hello, and welcome to Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. My name's Todd Taylor. I'm a Battalion Chief with the Wayne Township Fire Department. In this segment, we're using a Type D bus, the flat-nosed bus with the driver directly over the wheels. These buses have a tendency when they crash in frontal accidents to trap the driver both by the front end and by the steering wheel. In previous segments, we've shown how to remove the steering wheel both simply with a tilt steering wheel and more technical with a set of powered hydraulics. In this case, we're going to roll the entire dashboard forward. The vehicle has already been stabilized, so now it's time to remove the glass. The front glass is laminated and just like a semi is held in place with a three-part gasket. As we've shown previously, removing the center ring of that three-part gasket allows us to release the pressure on the window and we can either take a four by four or simple pressure in and remove the front windshield. Once the windshield is loose, it's pried out. And especially in a school bus incident, we want to maintain as little glass inside the bus as possible, so all of the glass is taken out of the bus. Ensure that you take all of the laminated glass out, including a corner section which may still be in place. In a school bus, we want to maintain control of the glass. Most school buses, those are held in place by screws and glues. If we can pop those screws off, we may be able to push the window in and avoid breaking the tempered glass. You may take a pry tool on the driver's side window in order to pry that window out. option A is not available or doesn't work, we can remove the glass from the inside of the bus to the outside of the bus. These glass, pieces of glass may be tempered or may be laminated. In this case, it's a piece of laminated glass. We're going to use a halogen bar and push it out from the inside out. And again, we're maintaining control of the glass so that there are no glass or limited glass to the inside of the bus. With the glass removed, now we have to make a purchase point to make a low A post cut with our cutters. We're going to use a halogen bar and a sledgehammer to do that. Hit, 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 stop. The reason that we make those purchase points down low is in order to get through the steel portion of the lower A-post. The A-post has to be cut high and low. The rescuer is going to come in, cut the A-post as high as he can. Again, you can use a ladder if you need to to make that A-post cut. These A-posts are going to be pretty beefy on a school bus, depending on the cutter that you have you may opt to go to a sawzaw to cut that A post high. Once the A post is cut high, chunk it out so as we push the dash, there's no pinch points. We like to leave a portion of that A post in place so that we can use it to do the dash push. Once that A post is cut, we come down to where we made our purchase points. The tips of the cutters go into those purchase points. The front of these buses are pretty beefy. You may actually have to make one or two relief cuts down at the lower A post. 
see the cutter sucking itself into the bus itself, making that lower A post cut. Once that's cut made, there's one more additional cut that has to be made directly behind the A post to give a relief cut for the air chisel or the sawzall, depending on what tool you're going to use to relieve the front of the dash. With the relief cut made behind the A-post, now we have to bring in a sawzall or an air chisel in order to tell the metal where to rip at so that we can push the front of the bus away. In this case, we're using a sawzall. The sawzall gives us a good chance to read, go right down the rivets and to make the push. Once that cut's made, all the way down to the relief cut of the lower A-post, the ram is brought into place. You can push from the upper B-post or the lower B-post and push the A-post away. A lot of times the dash will not come with that, but we must relieve the front of the bus, taking the metal out of the way before we can move to the inside of the bus to move the dash. that relief cut made, the ram now comes in place, put it from the upper B post to the lower A post, and make a push. If we need to, we can get off a ladder as well. In this case, we're using a telescoping ram. That telescoping ram is going to assist us in getting the push that we need. the ram's in place, simply pushing the dash away from the victim. The front of the bus has been removed. Yes. The front of the bus relieved. Yes. We can come to the inside of the bus, spike a halogen in the floorboard, push the entire front of the bus forward. going to push the dash, the steering column, and possibly the pedals away from our driver. And then our driver will be able to be free. In this segment, we showed pushing the dash on the Type D school bus. Not too unsimilar from pushing the dash on a semi. However, a couple of different things had to be done. Remember that when the victim is behind the wheel and we're moving the glass, ensure that you cover the patient with some sort of soft protection, whether it be a blanket or a tarp. Thank you for watching Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. Thank you to Almatro for sponsoring this, and my name is Todd Taylor.